All right, all right, all right. Well, we made it in. We made it in. We experiencing some technical difficulties tonight here at uh, Wednesday Night Live, but the, these guys have all kinds of ways of getting us in. So we're using another platform, but we're here tonight. Hope you can dial in, invite somebody. We're not going to hold you long because we spent some time trying to get some technical issues out the way, but we wanted to make sure we did come to you guys tonight uh, live from Wednesday night, live Bible study at West Urban Church of God in Christ. But God is good all the time, and all the time God is good. And uh, we certainly honor God for his grace and mercy toward us. God has been gracious. He's kept us from all hurt, harm, and danger, seen and unseen. So uh, come on in. Invite somebody to come in and join in with you. For just a few brief moments, uh, we're not going to be labor the hour, but certainly want to share something with you tonight from the word of the Lord. Let me again uh, invite those who are online, YouTube or Facebook to like and share and invite somebody to come in with you. Today, we had a wonderful celebration of life for Mother Lizzie Atkinson, uh, lived a great life one of our church mothers, and for those who came out to the graveside service today, uh, thank you for being a part of that uh, homegoing celebration. Uh, Mother Young, we're praying for you and your family, uh, uplifting y'all in prayer, uh, knowing that uh, God will comfort you, and he's a great consolator. Even when you lose a loved one, God always comforts us. Tonight, just for a brief moment, I want to talk about uh, understanding the power of praise. Understanding the power of praise. Uh, Psalms 111, uh, verse 1 says, Praise ye the Lord. I will praise the Lord with my whole heart in the assembly of the upright and in the congregation. Verse 2 says, The works of the Lord are great. Sought out of all them that have pleasure therein. His work is honorable and glorious, and his righteousness endureth forever. He had made his wonderful works to be remembered. The Lord is gracious and full of compassion. He had given meat unto them that fear him. He will ever be mindful of his covenant. He had showed his people the power of his works that he may give them the heritage of the heathens. Now, we all know that praise is something that we oftentimes say praise is who we are. Praise is a part of me. Uh, I love to praise the Lord. But in this particular psalm, we see the psalmist is basically saying, I will praise the Lord with my whole heart, his entire mind, body, soul, and spirit, I will praise the Lord. I want to talk about three benefits that we have from praising God. There are three, well, there are actually more benefits, but I'm going to talk about only three benefits that come through the power of praise. We know what praise is. Praise is adoration. Praise is lifting up. Praise is adoring. Uh, a praise is a is a is an excitement level. Even when children are playing football or soccer, uh, karate, and that mother or father is sitting in the stands, and when that child scores a point, a basketball, a basket or a field goal, or a football touchdown, or runs around the bases and scores a hit, the parents are so full of excitement they begin to scream and holler and praise or maybe you sitting inside of an auditorium and your daughter's on stage and she's singing in the choir and she's leading the song and she does a great job that parent is praising them or maybe you were uh asked to be the spouse you were asked someone asked to marry you and you got excited and began to jump up and down and shout Praise. Praise comes from inside. Praise is something all of us uh, perhaps have experienced one time or another 
or have given praise. But there are three benefits I'm going to talk about tonight. It comes from giving God praise. Number one, praises, praising God gives us access to God. We have a place to come. Psalm 100 and verse 4 says, Enter into his gates. Enter into his gates with thanksgiving and his courts with praise. Now, this verse very quickly refers to Moses uh, in the tabernacle in the wilderness. The tabernacle was divided into three parts, uh, the outer court, the inner court, and the holy of holies. And there was only one gate, one gate to get in, one way in. When you got in, you approached God with thanksgiving. Then you entered in closer into praise. Praise gives us access to God. God inhabits the praises of his people. You want to get something from God? Start praising him. You want to open door in your life? Start giving God praise. You want God to work miracles in your life? Start praising and giving God glory. Praise gives us access to God. You see, praise and worship is not an opening act. You know, sometimes we have services and services start off with prayer and scripture. Then there's praise and worship. But guess what? Praise and worship is not an act. It's not an opening act. It's what we do. We are praisers. We were born to praise. We were made to praise. Somebody wrote a song and said, praise is who I am. Okay, so when you talk about getting close to God in a relationship with God, it starts with praise. 150 divisions of the book of Psalms. And most of those divisions emphasize, highlight, giving God praise or blessing God. I will bless the Lord at all times and his what? Praise shall continually be in my mouth. So when you talk about praising God, it gives us accessibility. We now can come to God. He that cometh to God must first believe that he is a God, and he is God, and he is a rewarder of them that diligently seek him. I want to get to God, start praising God. Start thanking God. Enter his gates with thanksgiving. Hallelujah. Praise God for what he's already done. I'm thanking God for what you've already done. If God does nothing else for me, he's done enough. Then it says, and his courts with praise. When you go into God's house, again, I talked about Moses and the tabernacle in the wilderness. They had the outer court and the inner court and the holy of holies where God dwells. You want to get, you want to really get to God, get to where God dwells. Go into high praise. Father, I'm giving you praise and worship, not because of what you've done, but because of who you are. You are the God, El Shaddai. You're the God of peace, God Shalom. You're, the, you're, you're my God, Jeho Jehovah Jireh. You're my provider. See, when you start Worshiping God and going into that holy of holies where God dwells. Oh, you can start lingering in God's presence. The songwriter says, I want to linger. I want to stay in his presence day by day until his likeness may be seen where? In me. Oh, thanks to God. Begin to understand the power of praise. Praise will put you in the place well, when you need something from God, you don't have to ask God. You just start praising God. David said in the scriptures, I uh, read it to you tonight. He says, I will bless the Lord. I will praise the Lord with my whole heart in the assembly of the upright. Notice something. And he says in verse six, he had shown his people the power of his works. When you start praising God, he'll show the people the power of his works. You don't have to fight folk. Don't have to try to indoctrinate folk. 
Just start giving God praise. And the next one, another benefit of praise is praise changes you. Praise changes you. Somebody said changes me. Praise changes you. There's a scripture that come to mind. I believe it's in Proverbs 23 and 7. Watch this. It says, for as he thinketh in his heart, so is he. As he thinketh in his heart, so is he. As a man thinketh. Praise will change your mindset. Praise will shift things around. <laughs> Praise will shift the atmosphere. It'll shift your thinking. If your thinking is small, you start praising God, your thinking changes. When you start giving God praise in the midst of devastating moments, trouble on every hand, when you start giving God praise, your thinking begins to shift. Your attitude changes. Our lives shift. The whole atmosphere, it shifts. When you start giving God praise, praise changes you. Not only does God want to change circumstances, God wants to change you and I. Our stinking thinking, our mindset. You know, we're not to crumble under pressure. When life offers us, amen, a lemon, we need to take that lemon and make lemonade out of it. Okay, when you start giving God praise, your mind shifts. So as a man think it in his heart, you can think your way out of trouble. You can think your way out of sickness and disease. You can think your way out of circumstances that seem to surround you and you look like you're about to crumble in. When you start thinking on the things of God, so as a man think it in his heart heart, so is he. And I'm going to hope you guys are having technical problems tonight because we've been having some issues tonight. I'm going to get a signal from my brother. So if you're having technical issues, bear with us tonight. Bear with us. Uh, we, we're, we're trying to work through these issues tonight. Uh, but praise changes us, changes you and I. Praise will put you on a whole nother attitude. It gets rid of negative thinking, negative attitudes. You know, always is dark at night. It's always gloomy and doom in your life. When will the sun shine? When are you going to have something good to say? Somebody said years ago, if you can't say anything good, don't say nothing at all. Well, praise will change your attitude. When you start looking at how good God has been, you look at all the things that God has done versus things that are not happening. God measures up more than you can even imagine. When I think of the goodness of Jesus and all that he's done, he woke you up this morning, started you on your way, he kept you in your right mind, put food on your table, he protected you from the hand of the enemy. The list goes on and on. When you start giving God praise, as the writer says, when praises go up, blessings come down. When you start giving God praise, I will bless him. I will lift up my eyes unto the hills from whence what cometh my help. That's a praise. All my help cometh from the Lord. When you start giving God praise, when you're going through trouble at night, and midnights. That's when God shows up because now your praise has changed your behavior. It has changed your attitude. And number three, praise defeats the enemy. Praise defeats the enemy. The enemy, did you look, notice the scriptures in Second Chronicles? Now, there's a story about Jehoshaphat. Second Chronicles chapter 20. Verse 21, King Jehoshaphat, he appointed the singers to sing unto the Lord a praise. They were being attacked by the enemy. They were being pursued by the enemy. They were being chased down by the enemy. Jehoshaphat called them together and says, 
Let's give God some praise. He called the praise and worship leaders in. He called in Judah, called Judah first. Now the word Judah was first mentioned in Genesis chapter 29 and verse 35. And the Bible talks about the birth of Jacob's son, Judah in Genesis. Judah means praise. That's what it means. It means praise. So now we see Jehoshaphat calls in the singers, calls in the praise and worship leaders. And they come in and God gives them a strategy on how to win the battle without raising one sword. Send the praise and worship. Let them go out there and sing praises. They begin to sing praises unto God and begin to magnify God and begin to honor God. And guess what? They did not have to raise one finger against the enemy. The enemy was defeated. The enemy was defeated because of what? Praise defeats the enemy. I understand there are some issues going on on YouTube. YouTube may be freezing up, but those on Facebook, hang with us. Again, we apologize tonight for some technical issues of beyond our control, but hang with us on Facebook if you're there with us. If you got friends on YouTube, tell them to switch over to Facebook. Somehow or another, YouTube is freezing up tonight on us. But praise will defeat your enemy. Oh, God will give you power over your enemy. How many battles do we fight needlessly? We exert unnecessary energy fighting battles needlessly. We spend numerous hours trying to figure out, trying to work it out. And all God says is, just lift up my name. If I be lifted up, I'll draw. If you lift up the name of Jesus, his name is a strong tower. The righteous run it into his name. We fight battles that we don't have to fight. Just lift up the name of Jesus. Jehoshaphat called the singers. They began to praise God, the musicians and the singers, and the enemy destroyed himself. They began to kill each other. Can you imagine your enemies coming after you? You've been pursued by the enemy, enemy of sickness and disease, disparity at an all-time high, depression, Poverty is chasing you down. And instead of you complaining and whining, you begin to give God praise. Oh, I thank God in the midst of the storm. And finally, God began to defeat the enemy that's coming after you. The enemy of sickness, poverty, despair, hopelessness. God will cause the enemy to self-destruct. Saints, don't try to fight your own battle. We win the battle by giving God praise. Jehoshaphat, they found out, when they began to give God praise, God turned that situation around. And the battle was won without them raising one hand. What God gave them was the spoils. Everything they needed was right there. Take the enemy's possessions. You know, the Bible refers, oftentimes says, the wealth of the weak, it is stored up for the righteous. Well, if the enemy comes in like a flood, the Holy Ghost says it will lift up a standard against it. God told David to go down. He told him, go down and pursue everything and take everything that you lost. Go back and recover it all. Recover. When you start giving God praise, he will give you to recover everything that you thought you lost Everything you gave away to the devil, there are some things we give away to the devil. God will give you power to recover every last one. Praise is coming for the upright. The amount of time we spend giving God praise, the time you spend praising God really shows your relationship with God and how it is. The more time you spend complaining, and elevating what the devil has done. Look, stop talking about what the devil is doing. Stop giving the devil praise. Oh, the devil is busy, y'all. He's busy. A lot going on. A lot, 
Stop giving the devil a platform. I found out the less platform you give negative people, the better we are. <laughs> There's some folk we don't need to even talk, we don't need to call their name. I leave that, I leave that right there. There's some folk we need to call it. Just thank God their name is not being called. Stop calling the devil name unless you're casting him out. Stop highlighting his works and begin to highlight the works of the Lord. When you start giving God praise and lifting up the name of Jesus, the Bible says his name is a strong tower. The righteous run into his name and are safe. As I get ready to close tonight, your praise, your praise must come from your lifestyle. See, when I say lifestyle, Jesus told the woman at the well, drink from this water, you'll never thirst again. She began to make excuses about how she worshiped. Our fathers worship, you know, in the mountains, idol gods. And Jesus told her, he said, listen, woman, if you drink from this well, you'll never thirst again. My father seek it for those who will worship him, how? In spirit and in truth. Your relationship with God determines the validity and the authenticity of your praise. Oh, Brother Jackson, what do you mean? You really can't praise God unless you got a relationship with God. Bible says, you honor me with your lips, but your heart is far from me. You can sing a praise song. You, you can testify. But if your heart is far from God, God says your praise is not giving him what he deserves. He wants those who will honor and worship him in spirit and in truth. Ladies and gentlemen, check your praise level. Check the authenticity of your praise. Are you praising God because it's something to do or it's something you learned or it's a trait you learned, just how to sing a song, lift your hands, dance, or is it really coming from your heart? Out of the heart flows the issues of life. You know, we get these YouTube specials. Everybody got a praise break. Guys are dancing, ladies are dancing, and the music stops, they sit down. But when you really got a praise on the inside, you don't need no music. You don't need any drums. You praise God on the interstate, on the tollway. You praise God walking through the airport. You praise God in the shower. You, you praise God in the, ba in the bank. You praise God wherever you are. There's a praise in your heart. David said, let everything, let everything that had breath, praise the Lord. You got breath in your body. You are a candidate for giving God praise. God honors true worship and true praise. And the last thing, the highest form of praise. Wow. The highest form of praise is worship. Worship is praise. I know we say praise and worship, but worship is simply praise. It's the highest form of praise. I'm giving God worship and the highest level of praise, not because of the job he gave me, not because of the raise he gave me, but I'm praising God because of who he is. That's worship. Because of who you are, I give you praise. Because of who you are. That's when you really understand the value and the power of praise. Father, we thank you tonight for those who join us. Even within the midst of our technical issues, you still were able to get us out there on the platform. For those who were able to watch tonight, we pray you'll be blessed as you move forward in life. Bless going, bless coming, bless in the field, bless in the city. Because as you bless God, 
God will bless you back. As you give God praise and lift up that praise, God will open up the windows of miracles and blessings. And when praises go up, blessings come down. Father, save the soul that's near as hell. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen and amen again. I pray tonight that you understand the importance of praise. There are, there are several benefits of praise. I only did three tonight. Uh, there are others. Others. You know, praise builds your faith. We'll talk about that sometime in the future. It'll build your faith up. Uh, praise ministers to God. There, there are a number of things that we get from praising and magnifying God. Well, tonight, I want to invite those again who are watching. Again, we apologize for these technical issues with all that's going on on the information highway. I'm, 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 I'm amazed we've, had, we've not had as many problems as so many others are having. But tonight was an unusual night. But those who want to share in your giving tonight, you can certainly give to the West Irving Church. I won't have these slides tonight because of our technical issues. I won't have the slides available. But you can go to Givelify and find West Irving Church of God in Christ. And certainly we will welcome your gift of any size, donations of any size, those who are sharing your gifts of tithes and offerings. Certainly uh, you can give on the Givelify app or you can give on our church website at westirvingchurch.org. I'm asking those members who will and can before the end of the month to share a one-time seed of $221. That's the first fruit or first seed offering for 2021. Again, an offering of $221. If you can get it in by the end of the month, that would be great. If you can't, please sow it sometime in the near future. You can also give your offerings and donations through the mail. You can simply make it out to West Irving Church and send it to Post Office Box 842. Again, P.O. Box 842, Bedford, Texas, 760. Nine five. God will honor your gift, and certainly we will appreciate your donations and your liberality. Father, thank you for those who are giving tonight. Bless their homes, bless their families. Even in the midst of this pandemic, we pray, God, you continue to open the doors, open the windows, pour down blessings, increase, downpour, and overflow that they won't have room enough to receive. In Jesus' matchless, mighty name, amen and amen. Now do something for me. I want you to praise God the rest of this week when the devil brings negativity to your mind and the devil brings trouble to your heart and your mind where you're going through. Some of y'all are going through some things right now. Send that back to the devil and begin to give God a praise and watch God turn it around for you. Because you're giving God praise. Tomorrow night, I want to invite the young people of the Bridge Group at 6 p.m., ages 12 through 14, and the Sunshine Band at 7. On last week, during the Sunday school hour, on Saturday, all those young people who attended the class, they got a special gift. The, the children's class, the young adult, the, the, the teen class, they all got a special gift from the Sunday school for attending class on last Saturday. They got a monetary gift, all of them. A bunch of them was online last week and they got blessed last week. So I want to invite you young people, join us every Thursday night at six for a Bible study for the Bridge Group, ages 12 through 14. A lot of interaction, a lot of uh, graphics on the uh, display for the young people. Uh, they can ask questions, make comments, uh, lots of things going on for the kids on Thursday nights. Then on Saturday, Saturday, Sunday school, for all ages at five. Continue to keep in prayer Sonny Akpala, the husband of Sister Beverly Akpala. Please lift this up in prayer. Call his name. Call his name. Call his name. Lift up Sister Beverly in prayer. Uh, Brother Sonny is at a critical state in his health, and we need a miracle from God. Uh, please lift him up in prayer as you pray tonight and call out Sister Beverly Akpala's name. 
Father, we thank you tonight for your grace and mercy as we close out this Bible study Wednesday night live. We honor you, we give you glory, and we give you praise for who you are. You are a mighty God, and we praise you for who you are. In Jesus' mighty name, amen. Well, God bless you, saints. We'll see you again uh, Sunday. Again, apologize for any technical issues tonight. Uh, we'll be back full metal jacket, our next recording, our next live session. God bless you. Good night.